a final resting place. People put flowers here to remember and grieve, maybe to talk to someone they're missing. And then there are people on hospice care and don't have much time left. A lot of people are afraid to be at those last moments and Gary is very good at just going and being with them, being a, being a person with them, and letting them be a person, not to be a patient, not to be a disease. Gary Ballou spends time volunteering, helping people with special needs. He's also a volunteer with Hamilton Hospice, spending time with hospice nurses and their patients. He makes me forget that I'm sick. And those patients talk about him when he's not around. He makes me forget I'm in a nursing home. He lets me be one man talking to another man. Any day that he was anticipating Gary's visit, he would ask us when he's going to be there when we would go see him. And, uh, anticipating his visit all day. He found something about each individual person and he just excelled with his <laughs> thoughts of everything. He made them feel like that they were the only person alive. The reason Lisa Tishaw nominated Gary for Pay It Forward. Hey Gary. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of News Channel 9 and the McMahon Law Firm, we want to pay it forward because you are such an amazing individual. <laughs> We as a whole, we appreciate you and our families appreciate you so very much. So get up here. <laughs> yes. I'm shaking. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we have 500 reasons to say that we appreciate you. There's one, two, three, four. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't have to do that. Gary says it was a calling. I just, you know, get their life story if they're able to talk. And I just, it's all about them. Where do you find your strength? From above. And when a patient passes, Gary Ballou was their guardian angel. It's not really sad if you look at it in the right light because they're on their way home.